Hey guys, how you doing? Miss you all. Um, I'm here to give you an awesome core blast workout. So we are gonna start by sitting in crisscross office last year, set up nice and tall, and we're kinda just gonna ring our body around, spin it around. Open up those abs a little bit. And go ahead and switch direction. And reach up high to the sky. And go ahead and spin that body towards one way. Crack that back a little bit. And switch sides. And go ahead and reach forward as far as you can. And back up to the sky. Back down on that floor. Ten more seconds. One. All right, I'm gonna do this with you today. So you guys go easy on me. So we're gonna start with just some traditional crunches. Uh, I need, um, if you have a glove, you're gonna squeeze it between your knees. We're gonna be putting our, thank you. We're gonna be doing our um, just traditional crunches. So squeeze that glove in between those knees. It's gonna help you engage that bottom core. Make sure we're sucking that lower back to the ground. And traditional crunches for about a minute. And go ahead and start. Make sure that lower back staying glued to the ground. And we're squeezing that glove here. Keep breathing. Fifteen seconds. And five, three, two, one, go ahead and stretch those abs out. Reach up nice and tall, open up that middle body here. Stretch, stretch nice and good through your core. Squeeze that belly button in. All right, I'll lift it back up. We are moving to a one minute plank. You guys know I love planking. Planking makes you strong, so. One minute, starting in three, two, one. Make sure we're protracting here through our shoulders, keeping that butt low, zip those legs together. Feeling it. We're halfway. Keep it up. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Go ahead and stretch that core out. Squeezing that belly button in towards your body. Engage that core the whole time. And we're moving on to a hollow hold. So it's that upside down plank on your back. 
keeping those feet and hands six inches off the ground. Make sure our shoulders are lifted up off the ground. Keeping that body hollow like a boat. One, or 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Zipping that lower back to the ground. If you wanna make it easier, put your hands here on the ground next to you. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. All right, guys, we're back. Um, I am gonna bring us now into some boat pulses. You guys, have, uh, most of you have done this before. So we're laying on our stomach and we're working that core that our back is still our core. So we're laying here on our back and we're hovering over the ground here, feet and hands, shoulders off the ground. And you flex that back up as high as you can and just work that negative on the way down. Got about one minute, three, two, one. Reach up as high as you can. We're halfway there. Keep working those back muscles. Ten seconds. Stretch that back out, get a little cat cow going on. Loosen it up again. We are gonna flip our burgers back onto our back now. We're moving to a single leg alternating toe touch. So we are flat on our backs. Hands are straight up or straight out and we're alternating reaching for those toes with the opposite hand. Reach to the outside of that foot. One minute, three, two, one. Really reach for those toes. Ten seconds. Stretch out that back again, lift those hands up. Oh. All right, we're back to a plank exercise. So I'm wearing a mic, so my roll's gonna look a little funnier than yours. But we are doing up-down rollovers. So we're in a full arm plank, lower those arms, roll over, back up to that plank. Down, roll over, back up to that plank. Down on those arms. 30 seconds, three, two, one. Three, 
and one. This is where you turn off your um, video if you need a quick break. I'm warm, I don't know about you. Um, if you're ready for some more, um, our next one is our happy puppy. We've done this before too. So we are flat on our backs again, focusing on that core today. So we got our knees up, 90 degree angles in our hips and our knees. Arms are up, lower back is glued to the ground. And we are doing opposite hand with opposite leg. Keeping those hands and feet off the ground. Suck that belly button in. One minute, three, two, one. Keep it pumping, 30 seconds to go. Keep breathing. 10 seconds. Awesome job, guys. Let's go ahead and wring out that body a little bit. Just cross our knee over and let that body, that let those obliques stretch out a little bit. Try to keep this back shoulder on the ground. And switch sides. Keeping that shoulder down as, as far as you can. core workout. We are doing our um, down dog toe touch. So we're in a down dog position for all you little yogis out there. Down dog position, keeping those legs apart and we are reaching for that back foot up and over. Try to reach to the outside of your foot. Reach for that pinky toe. it up 20 seconds five three two one all right lower it down we we're doing Another boat pulse, so we're back on our backs, but we're gonna swim our legs and hands back instead of pulsing up. So, we are on our stomach, and we're reaching our hands all the way forward here. Keeping those feet and hands off the ground, and we are swimming our legs open, opening up that back, working our upper back, and lower back down. 30 seconds, three, two, one. Didn't know you were working your buttons today, huh? 15 seconds, we're halfway. Five seconds. Flex that back. Three, two, one. Very nice. All right, let's roll it back over. We're doing butterfly crunches. Some of you have done these with me before as well. So we're in our butterfly stretch. Might as well push those knees down and get a little stretch in while we're at it. I'm toasty. 
<laughs> All right, so we are always, when we're doing ab workouts, we're always engaging that core, so we're gluing that lower back to the ground. You wanna, want it to feel like there's a string pulling your belly button through the ground. So we're back on our back, stay in that butterfly stretch. And we're just doing our tiny little crunches. So tilt that pelvis up, glue that lower back down, and tiny little pulses. 30 seconds, three, two, one. Halfway there. Five, three, two, one. All right. So this one you need an object for. You can use a sock or you can use your wraps or you can use a glove or a broom or whatever you need. I am using my wraps. So you don't need to wrap it around your hands. We don't need to have them on today, obviously. But we're wrapping them around our hands here. And we're gonna go up and over our feet. It's gonna force you to tuck those knees to your chest and get your chest up as high as you can. So, we are going up and over our feet, down to a flat back, and back up and over our feet. Hands above your head. Up and over, 30 seconds. Missed it. <laughs> Fifteen seconds. Keep it moving. Five, three, two, one. Oh, that one hurts. I know it. I know it. You guys are killing it today. Um, lastly, we are gonna um, do what we did in the very beginning. We're starting over, going back to what we started with, doing traditional crunches. So start with that glove between your knees. Make sure we're squeezing it, engaging that core. We've got 30 seconds, and we've got a one minute hollow hold, and a two minute full arm plank, and we're done. So let's get those crunches out of the way. Make sure we're squeezing, engaging that core. It's making sure those lower abs are being used here. So glue that lower back down, squeeze that glove, and crunch it. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one. Since we were just laying on our back, let's go ahead and do our two minute plank first, and we'll end with a strong hollow hold. All right, so full arm plank for two minutes. We are starting in five, three, two, one. Make sure we're not sinking between those shoulders. Always be pushing up out of the floor. Keep those fingers spread wide. That body weight be spread amongst all the fingers. Keep breathing.
You guys can do it. Keep going. We are halfway. Don't give up. You should be shaking. That's good stuff. Guys, we got this. hollow hold this is not easy so you should be shaken make sure we're gluing that lower back to the ground shoulders and feet are up off the ground we have one minute okay we are starting in three two one make it easier by putting your hands down by your side here if you want to make it a little harder keep them up glued to your ears Sweat and pull us over here. We have twenty seconds left. gonna stretch it out for about a minute you guys can stretch on your own time if you like I'm just gonna do a little um, back bend stretch feels good to me so I put that hand behind my feet here and kind of just push up through those hips switch sides roll it around if you like ring out that body like we did in the beginning guys it was super awesome to give you a class and I miss you and I hope this is all over soon Bye.